Hello Lifestylers, it's Lushawn. If you've just found my channel, welcome. And if you are returning to my channel, welcome back. Thank you so much for supporting me here on Lushawn's Lifestyle. I appreciate every one of you. So if you haven't done so already, you've been returning and viewing, you know I appreciate it. And you haven't subscribed, I really, really would appreciate it. Click that subscribe button. And if you haven't, and um, also if you haven't done so and you are a subscriber, click the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. And please continue to like, comment, and share. You guys know I love kicking it with you guys in the comment section down below. So let's continue to keep the conversation going. So today's video is my wrap up. You, um, for those of you who are into my videos and have been watching, you all know that I'm a little bit behind. I was out of town, town um, for uh, a week and it just threw my schedule totally off, but I'm almost back to normal, almost. And, and then I'll be going out of town again, but that's okay. I can actually film like where I'll be. So that will work out uh, hopefully okay. I'll just have to remember all the things that I need to take. So this is my um, June wrap up. This should be my last video to get everything caught up with June and move on um, into July. And um, as you all may or may not know, um, I'm doing a, a layout series and this was one of the layouts that I um, was checking out and reviewing for the month of June. So I'm going to do the wrap up. It's going to be a little bit different because this particular la uh, layout does not allow for um, like budgeted actual variance kind of thing. You got to do a strike through and some people are cool with strike throughs. I do a lot of strike throughs at work, so that's okay. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'll be doing. So I have my little strike through pen. Y'all know this is the, the, the dreaded red pen <laughs> that people hate, uh, especially in school. And it's the paper mate flare. So I'm going to use that to do my strike through and finish up uh, this particular month's budget. So let's go ahead and get into it. First and foremost for my fixed bills, and I'll bring you guys in a little bit. You should be able to see, but I'll bring in a little bit more. Okay, so for my fixed bills and expenses, um, the only thing that was different was my um, my AT&T bill, my cell phone bill, and I explained that in my update, my check-in for Paycheck One, so I'll link that in the cards up here if you wanna take a look at that with what happened. So I'm gonna strike through that because the actual bill was $125 and 56 cents so that changed my fixed bills and expenses total to three thousand three hundred forty three dollars and 59 cents for uh fixed bills and expenses um for my debt minimums everything came out as um projected and so there were no changes there, no changes in my variable expenses. So really, I only had to make changes um, in this section, which is my wrap up section for the month. So my income stayed the, remained the same, fixed change, um, as I stated earlier, to $3,343.59. And so that changed my remaining total. So my remaining ended up being 421.83. Um, I did make my snowball payment. You guys um, saw that, or if you haven't, I'll link my uh, debt uh, snowball update in the cards. So everything stayed here. Now my remaining change because the first remaining change. So I went from 224.67 to 220.83. So what 
I did with this money. Um, again, if you've seen my previous videos, June was my mother's um, birth month and then there's Father's Day. So that money was used um, for gifts and whatnot. So what I did is because I don't like to, and this will be one of, this is one of the adjustments. I told you guys that I, quarterly I'll go back and look and see what it is that I need to change and how I'm budgeting. And the major thing that I needed to change was using my regular checking account. If I, you know, if I had extra money in there, I would, I would take, still leave the money in there and then like use it from there. And then I have, I also have a miscellaneous fund law which I'll show you in a minute um, where I'll just transfer over the amounts and then I'll, I'll I'll keep a log of that versus my bills and then when I would have to go balance the account then I have to look at what I did here then I have to go back in the tracker and look at what was the miscellaneous and then kind of like know in my mind what was going on in my account between these two different funds you know my bills and then my miscellaneous funds and I'm like I don't like to work harder. I like to work smarter. So what I did was I opened up um, another Capital One checking account. Now I have one for my sinking funds, um, but I opened up another one that's just my do what I want account, you know, where I move the miscellaneous funds over there. And so, yeah, that was the biggest adjustment that I did. And, and, and it has made my life so much easier because once I pay my bills and the bills come out, I have a $5 buffer in my main checking account and that is it. And once the bills are done and everything has cleared out and I've moved what I needed to move, it's just $5 in there and I don't have to worry about, you know, trying to balance. I know what it is. So to me, that was the biggest adjustment that I needed to make after I started doing, created, after I created the miscellaneous fund tracker trying to track the two funds within the one account, which I do that at work all the time. <laughs> but for some reason, I was like, you know, I just want my bills to be my bills. I don't want to swipe my car using other things besides my bills. And that's just, I don't know, me doing the most or just the, the anal retentiveness uh, OCD. I don't know. That is just... Once I open the account and move and move the money there and just use that account to do other little things, miscellaneous things to swipe. And then once my bills are, it just made my life so much more smoother and easier. Again, that's just me. So that's what I did. So this $220.83 was transferred over to my um, a miscellaneous account that I opened opened up. So that left me, of course, with according to my planner, it's a zero. I zeroed it out, but actually there is a five dollar buffer in this account. Now, of course, for July, I've done my July first paycheck, so I do leave the remaining in there until I pay. You know, I do my debt snowball and all of that, but basically anything that I need to move over that I'm going to I just take it out of there I'm not swiping with on that account at all except for it is it pays my bills and that that's what I want it for I want it to pay my bills and then anything else I'll move over so there's no trip ups there's no slip ups we're good with the main checking that pays the bills so let's go ahead and take a look at the miscellaneous uh, fund and that's in my notes section that I keep that in so let's go ahead and go ahead and put that up so my miscellaneous fund account had again when I was just had it in my checking account was at 32 cents so i took that 32 cents and i took the 220 dollars and 83 cents and that's what i used to establish the account the capital one another capital one checking account that is now going to be used for this this purpose so with the 32 cents and then i had the um 283 dollars I wish $220.83 
Um, that gave me, what's that real quick, quick math here. Let's see, five, 12, eight, 19, 11, 1. So that gave me 221. Um, well, no, no, I don't have to do it that way. So my credit was 220. Oh, and I don't want to write that in red. No, 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 no red there. All right, let's go ahead and clear that up real quick. All right, so it was, I moved 220.83 plus the 32 cents. Okay, but I used with gifts and whatnot and a whole bunch of shenanigans, it was, um, I used 212.14. So yeah, so I bought some gifts, took people to eat. <laughs> Y'all know the routine if you had to do that kind of stuff. So yeah, so that's what it came out to. Um, so that left, right now I have in my, my um, do what I want account is what I named it, um, is $9.01. So that's what I'm working with in that account. Um, it's just, honestly, it's just made it so much smoother for me. I No must, no fuss. I don't have to worry about messing up or anything like that in my main checking account. And that just works for me. Um, you know, I don't know about, about anyone else, but I just like simple, simplistic, easy. So if I need five accounts to make my life easy, peasy, then the, hey, that's what it is. Um, I don't have five accounts, but y'all know what I mean. So yeah, so that is my um, wrap up for the month of June. And hopefully I'm all done with June. That is my um, the adjustment that I've made, you all know I do evaluate quarterly to see what changes I need to make. That was the biggest change that I needed to make is to open up that account and not have it me flowing and trying to track expenses and all this stuff and, you know, balance out. So just made my life easy. Anywho, if you've lasted this long in the video, you already know you are a lifestyler. And until my next video, hugs and love. Bye.